Okay, this F75 video is um, shot in two different properties. Um, there's a more detailed explanation as to what I'm doing uh, at the end of the video showing you how I was testing that sensor. Uh, and it also tells you the other sort of causes for F75. So the first part of this video is a simple F75 fix, replace the uh, water pressure sensor. Um, and it'll show you before and after. You see it's 1.5, right? Mm. When the pump runs, which is that little symbol there, that needs to jump up a bit. And you see it doesn't here, it just stays at 1.5 bar. Pump's off, still 1.5 bar. When that pump runs, that has to go up just a fraction. By, by Sometimes 0.1 will do it, but generally 0.2, so it should go to about 1.7. If it doesn't, it thinks there's no water in it and puts up F75, or it thinks the pump's failed. So that's what F75 is. And this is the easy way to see, because I can hear the pump runs, so I know it's not the pump. Um, this is the easy way to see, the sensor's not picking up that mm. pressure spike. You put it in that mode. The video on that, and that, this will go down now, this pressure. The boiler might actually, it's registering that it's going down. You see that, 1.4. But what we'll probably find here is this is going to stay high, the pressure, even when the board is empty. So same 1.3. And we haven't got that much, 1.2. Let me turn this off while it's... Uh, Draining. Yeah, so it still says one point two, one point three, and that's basically stopping. So that means the boiler was empty, but the pressure sensor still registered that there was pressure in there, which can only be because it's blocked. Because all it is inside there is a tiny little plunger that moves up and down and some electrics that read the pressure. Um, so in the next shot I show I've fitted a new sensor now and uh, not put any water in the boiler, just fitted a new sensor and it clearly shows that there's no pressure in the boiler now. That's it, that's all we've done is replace it. Okay, so now I'm uh, testing the new sensor. I'm putting the boiler into the purge mode again, uh, which is what I'm doing here. You see it starts off at 1.4 bar, and when the pump runs it's 1.5 bar. Um, you can't see any smaller increments on this boiler, so you know it went from 1.4 to 1.5. Uh, but that could have been literally 1.40 bar and it went to 1.55 bar um, or 1.58 bar for that matter. So basically that's why I, earlier in the video you hear me say to the customer that um, 0.1 of a bar uh, can, use, can sometimes be enough to make them work. So you'll see now, just at the end here, I, I press that I button and put it into sanitary purge, which just moves the diverter into hot water only mode. So I've reset the boiler, it's now about to run, but I press the I button here, and you'll see the boiler do its self-test, which is the S code, S97 you see here. Now if it does that self-test and runs that pump, which it did there, and then went immediately to S2, it means it's registered that that sensor works. So let's do that again. So for F75 issues, you have your boiler on, press the reset, hold the plus, get the two dots flashing. You get P0, press I. That's now running the pump for 20 seconds and then stopping it for 20 seconds. Now, 
with the pump running which is that symbol there we have 1.6 bar yeah now when that pump stops that should drop and that so now the pump stopped let's see what it says 1.3 bar so it went up by 0.3 of a bar if um if it doesn't see that pressure spike when the pump runs so when the boiler puts that on it has to see this pressure spike 1.6 if it doesn't see that after I think it's five attempts it will put up F75 so that's a really easy way to get the boiler in a mode where it's easy to see what what the pump is able to achieve in terms of a pressure spike 1.3 bar pump runs 1.6 now what's common on these as I'm sure everyone knows but it'll go 1.6 is the water pressure sensor so on this boiler here is there it's that it's this there it is on this boiler and that's very common that they get blocked and they don't pick up that small increase in pressure and if it's not up there it's down here and they get I mean obviously this boiler's just closed off but that's where it would be um, so F75 is anything to do with that pump running and it not picking up the pressure spike from the pump and it just uses that pressure spike to determine um, that it's moving water. Other things to bear in mind with F75, always do the vessel, drain it down, always pump up the vessel to the correct pressure, um, and occasionally um, adjusting this bypass screw down here will help. Uh, if you have a secondary pump on the system, let's just say it's a huge system, you've got a big 937 like this, but then under here on the heating system, you have another pump on the flow here, uh, that will often kick in at the same time as the pump in the boiler uh, and the sensor then won't pick up the pressure spike. So Valent do a PCB, I can't remember what it's called now, you'd have to speak to them. But they do a PCB that will delay that pump kicking in for, uh, I don't know what it is, 30 seconds or something. So the boiler pump will run, it will pick up the pressure spike that it's meant to. And then your other pump down here on the pipe work would kick in. So the boiler will see the pressure spike like that and it will run no f75 um, so there's other things you can do you can put a small delay relay uh, in line with the, the secondary pump under there and just delay it even for even for two seconds that's good enough to let the boiler see the pressure spike right okay so hopefully that helps you with f75 um, there is one other thing that can cause it i mean the pcb can cause it uh, if the low voltage side of the PCB starts to play up. Um, if that happens, there's usually other telltale signs that you've got a PCB problem on the boiler. I have got that on video somewhere. I'll just have to find it and I'll get it uploaded and I'll call it, I don't know, Ecotech PCB issues. All right, thanks a lot and I hope that helped.